Yeah, it's great to have the third year now of, of European Data Forum and having it in Athens here hosted by Athena Research and University of Athens. So it's very nice also because we are really growing over the last three years. So the first year in, in Copenhagen we had about 150 participants, the next year we had 280. We were in Dublin in Ireland and now the third year here in, in Athens we have about 500. And that's really, a, let's say, a success story on the one hand side. So you see the community is growing, the people are getting aware of the data management issue, about the challenges, discussing this meeting. Uh, have seen a lot of discussions, a lot of uh, happy people and what is great here, to be honest, is also you can go outside in spring and it's really warm, so it's, it's good to be here from all perspectives. Is Europe ready for the data economy? Um, I think it's a half-half answer. So on the one hand side, we're doing a lot of things that uh, Europe, Europe gets ready for the data economy and for big data. On the other hand, we see a lot of companies, but also public administration that is not really aware about the importance of data management these days. So uh, what we need to do uh, is just to open or raise awareness more and more about the importance of data and data management in all these areas uh, to getting more and more ready for the data economy. Yeah, the way Europe should support these data innovators is, by one hand side, we're on a good way because there's a big program running already that is called Horizon 2020. And there are some program lines inside like data incubator stuff. So we are giving startups money for, uh, for the first push the, so they can set up things, they can use infrastructure, they can use data sets to play around with them and, and generate and create innovation. Uh, on the other hand, we still have this gap between research and the market uh, and we have to somehow fill this gap to get it better, to bring the innovation from the research better into the market. Can Europe lead the data economy? Uh, I think we, uh, it is uh, a possibility uh, and I think we are uh, doing a lot for that. Um, a good thing is that uh, there is a lot of activity in the uh, uh, regulatory uh, and legal framework, I mean all this activity in, in the uh, European Parliament and the Commission that is setting up the framework for opening data, uh, etc. This, uh, this is great. Um, it seems that uh, individual countries, uh, uh, some uh, individual countries are also doing very good work in this area and taking up uh, this activity, uh, moving into uh, their own countries and establishing that. Then we have uh, public administrations like the city of Vienna, for example, where we had uh, uh, the, um, their CIO being uh, uh, given a prize uh, in, in the CDF, uh, seems to have uh, a great activity in this area. So, so why Actually, I think at the level of Europe uh, we see a lot of things. I would like to stress that uh, uh, for Europe to lead the, the data uh, economy, uh, uh, I would like to see uh, the same things in uh, individual countries as well, and uh, especially in countries like Greece, for example. So. Uh, for that we had uh, our minister and deputy minister uh, that uh, are leading this activity in this area. They are also pretty excited ab about this and we are looking forward to, to see more uh, activity in this area. Another important, uh, I think, issue for Europe to lead uh, the data economy would be to consolidate in sectors where uh, we are very strong. Uh, from my own experience I can see that um, uh, the space and the geospatial data sector, for example. Uh, it seems that we already have champions there and uh, we can have more. Uh, of course, we need to support small companies, SMEs, that uh, would carry out this work. We don't need to only work with the big guys. Um, and then training, uh, training the talent that we have in Europe, in all countries, not just the big ones. Uh, is, uh, is an issue. I mean, coming up with new programs in, let's say, data science. Uh, this is the job of academics like us, for example, to, uh, to do it uh, maybe together with companies. Uh, and then um, I'm sure we can uh, be positive.